All right, everybody. So recently I made a couple of videos just kind of like helping people with some stuff they may not know that could help them in some GM Nightfalls. And the two things I was talking about was the Revitalizing Blast Seasonal Mod and then actually a Glaive, right? You want to Glaive with Auxiliary Reserves is really what I was talking about. And how you can truly face tank some champions if you need to pull off a Clutch Revive. And in that video, I said, damn, bro, I might need to actually go ahead and make a new Glaive specifically for this purpose. And that's exactly what we have for you in today's video. So the Glaive of choice that we actually went about crafting for this specific purpose is going to be none other than the Lubre's Ruin, aka the Raid Glaive from the Vow of the Disciple. And if we go ahead and pull up its purple, you'll see why we went with this one. So first thing I want to mention is that the most important thing that you need out of this is you want to have auxiliary reserves for that additional energy storage to greatly increase your shield duration. For this specific purpose, this is exactly what we want. And if you look at some of the other column three and column four perks, the column three perk that I really like or was looking at was a movable object, right? Dealing range damage grants substantially increased weapon energy while you're stationary with your shield raised with this exact purpose in mind this perk is going to work perfectly with it and then honestly the tier four there's basically up to you bro go ahead there's not truly an awful choice in my opinion and overall the fourth column perks bro anything go for it pick what you want with that being said let's go ahead and play the clip of exactly what we crafted on our lubrace ruin all i'm saying is that the glaive has some pretty strong utility or at least just tanking damage with the shield and the main thing you're going to want is going to be your auxiliary reserves for your greatly increased shield duration this is very crucial to allow you just to sit there like a brick wall and leave and face tank gm champions which is pretty impressive i'm also going to go ahead and give it the shield duration intrinsic trait because i'm crafting this lubre's ruin solely to be a crutch weapon for me to go in there face tank some damage with the shield because it can do that with 100 resilience and some armor resist mods in the shield with the glaive you're able to face tank some champions even in gms actually impressively well and i'm going to go ahead and give this thing light mag for a little bit of reload speed and extra range and then the reason why i'm going to use the lube razor ruin for this specific job is because we are going to get immovable object dealing range damage grant substantially increased weapon energy while you're stationary with your shield raised with what this thing is supposed to be doing, or at least what I'm crafting it for, that'll be pretty common. And then for the fourth column perk, honestly, there's there's actually a lot of pretty good ideas. Maybe Unstoppable Force, Surrounded could be good. Swash could be good. However, and like, you know, higher in content, I'm not going to be meleeing a lot of enemies right there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to go ahead and get the good old tried and true Vorpal. Plus the enhance of it does give me a little bit of extra reload speed, which on a Glaive is always nice. So yeah, there we go. We got Shield Duration, Enhanced Intrinsic Trait. We got Auxiliary Reserves, which is a must. Light Mag for increased reload and a little bit of extra range. Immovable Object for or some extra weapon energy for our shield for our glaive and then vorpal for the increased damage to majors bosses and the little bit of extra reload that it does on the enhanced version of it let's go ahead craft it up you already know what time it is but a bing but a boom uh, the third crafted butter knife at least on my box and my account bing gold border and all so yeah man there you have it that's exactly what we went with we went with a movable object obviously and then we went with good old tried and true vorpal enhanced vorpal does get a little bit of a reload bonus which is greatly appreciated glaive is going to fill its need perfectly if you have not tried out a glaive for this specific reason just to face tank some damage pull off a clutch revive and some higher end content i highly recommend giving it a try with max resilience and some armor resist mods you'll be thoroughly impressed thank y'all for watching make sure to subscribe if y'all are new peace out